No woman in United States history has spent more time in prison for a crime that she did not commit, and a recent partial settlement of a civil rights lawsuit could have a major impact in Shreveport. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. In our top story this evening, in 1979, Kathy Woods was housed in the mental ward at what is now Oshner LSU Health Shreveport. While there, she admitted to a brutal murder. In 2015, DNA evidence exonerated her and implicated someone else. She ultimately filed a lawsuit due to her wrongful conviction, which claims two former Shreveport police detectives and others violated her civil rights. This week, a partial settlement of a federal civil rights lawsuit involving Kathy Woods was agreed upon in Reno, Nevada. And all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The Washoe County Commission voted unanimously to pay Woods $3 million to settle civil rights violation claims she brought against a former county district attorney after spending 35 years in a Nevada prison for a crime she didn't commit. It's only a partial settlement, though. Also named in the federal lawsuit are former Shreveport detectives Donald Ashley and Clarence Jackie Lewis. We have had depositions, and they have had to answer questions under oath about their conduct, yes. Wong was in Shreveport last year for over a week conducting depositions of the former detectives. It's because, according to the lawsuit, the two played a role in Woods' interrogation while she was held in the Shreveport Mental Hospital for chronic schizophrenia. When officers actually interrogated her, they our allegation is that they knew that she hadn't committed the crime because she didn't provide them with any information that wasn't publicly known and that they made up the facts about her confession. Prior to living in Shreveport, Woods lived in Reno. She confessed to the 1976 killing of a Reno college student, but DNA evidence proved an Oregon serial killer, Rodney Halbauer, committed the crime. She wasn't asked to sign a confession at all. Instead, the quote-unquote confession came in the form of a police report that Donald Ashley and Lawrence Dennison wrote up um, several days after the interrogation. The lawsuit claims former Reno detective Lawrence Dennison spearheaded the interrogation and Donald Ashley provided an assist. For his part, Ashley really was taking the position that it was all Dennison and nothing that he did. But he was there and it's our allegation that he helped Dennison fabricate the police report. The case is pending in federal court in Reno. A trial date has yet to be scheduled. Now, multiple attempts to reach Donald Ashley and Clarence Jackie Lewis were unsuccessful today. Late tonight, I heard from Ashley's attorney, and we will attempt to get his side of the story tomorrow.